Hello and welcome to Quill.org. In this video, we're going to walk through each of Quill's basic student data reports. These reports include the activity summary, activity analysis, and the diagnostic reports. To access your student data reports, log into your Quill account and then click the Student Reports tab at the top of the page. This brings you to each of our different student data reports, and today we're going to focus on the top three. So let's click on the Activity Summary box and see this report. At the top of the page, you'll notice that you have some different filtering options. So you can select the specific class that you want to look at, the specific activity pack, and you can even set a date range to view. Underneath the filters, you'll also see a color-coded proficiency level system. So green means proficient, yellow means nearly proficient, and red means not yet proficient. If you see a blue square, that means that the student has completed the activity, but the activity is not scored. So you'll only see that on our Quill Diagnostics and Quill Lessons activities. A white square with the blue timer in the top corner means that the student has the activity in progress, and a gray square means that you have assigned the activity, but the student has not started it yet. Underneath our color coding system, you'll also see a legend for each of our different activity icons. So a hand lens is Quill Diagnostics, the apple is Quill Lessons, the target is Quill Connect, the flag is Quill Proofreader, and the puzzle piece icon is Quill Grammar. Underneath that, you'll see a list of your students organized alphabetically, and you can hover over a square underneath the student's name to get some more information on their performance on that activity. So you'll see the name of the specific activity, what date the student completed it on, and how long it took them to complete that activity. For that time spent portion on the page, it's good to know that that time is only tracked for when students are actively participating on the activity. So if the student has the activity pulled up but doesn't do anything on the page for more than 30 seconds, or if they navigate away from the activity by opening up another tab or by opening up a different app, then the timer will stop and it will start back up again once students start working on the activity again. Next, we're going to look at the activity analysis report. Since I'm already in the student reports tab, I can just click the name of another report underneath all those tabs and be brought straight to that report. So I'm going to click the activity analysis link and be brought to that landing page. So what you'll see here is each activity pack that you've assigned to students. Underneath the activity pack headings, you'll see which classes that you've assigned that activity to, the completion rate for those activities, and the class-wide average score on the activity. So click the arrow next to the activity to view the activity analysis for that activity. Once you click that arrow, you'll see the student's names and the score that that individual student earned on the activity. You'll also see again how much time they spent, and you'll see the student's average score on Quill. Click the student's name to see their individual responses to each question in the activity and what feedback Quill gave them. This can be really helpful to see if students are using the feedback that Quill is giving them and what mistakes students are making and how you can address that in the classroom. You can also click the Questions Reports tab at the top of the page to see the class-wide average score on each question for that activity. So this can be really helpful information to pull for a do now or for a reteach opportunity with your students. Next, we're going to click the Diagnostics tab to see the Diagnostics report. 
So you can filter by class period to see the diagnostics. And then to see the results, you'll click the link that says view results and recommendations. From there, you'll see your class's results summary. So you'll see these circle charts that show you your whole class proficiency towards each concept. And then if you scroll down on the page, you'll see some individual student information on their proficiency with each skill group. If you look to the left hand side of the page, you'll see some tabs that you can click through for the diagnostic reports. So first we're going to look at the practice recommendations tab. Once you click that tab, you will see your recommendations grid, and these assignments are based on students' individual responses and scores on the diagnostic. So a square with an asterisk in it means that we recommend that the student gets extra practice in that activity. You can find more information on our support center. And those are Quill's three basic student data reports. For more information, check out the articles in our Teacher Center and Support Center. You can also email us at support at quill.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.